Hello, my name is Robert Cook. <coughs> Sorry about that. My name is Robert Cook. I was born December 11th, 1843 in Germany, yeah. And because I am the smartest person in the world, I taught myself to read at the age of five. Dad, what do you think about combating understanding youth house water crisis? Aren't you five? Of course. I taught myself to read using a newspaper, Dad. You failed as a parent. Where was I? Oh yes, I volunteered as a doctor in the Franco Prussian frontier where I used a microscope to study anthrax. That was the only thing I had at the time. Um, oh yeah, did I mention I was at the war? Could you please keep it down? I'm trying to study here. As I said, my resources were very limited oh. at that time. Hey, Rob. Oh, what are you hi. doing? Hello, Tana. How are you? How is oh. your wife and your family? Oh, they're, they're wonderful. How's your anthrax? Oh, very you killed good. any mice recently? Oh, yes. That's Every wonderful. day. <laughs> In fact, as Tana was explaining, I used to splinters at the time to inoculate the mice with the anthrax bacteria. Squeak, 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 squeak! This isn't even a joke. I did use a stick like this. Through my studies with mice, I confirmed that anthrax indeed was the cause. Um, but I didn't want to stop there. I wanted to see if it could grow outside of a living animal, so I used an ox and poked it in the eye with this. Are you sure this is safe? Of course, I'm a doctor. Because of my success in my research, I was published in the Botanical Journal and I became famous. And with my new found birth, I was able to increase my scientific materials and I used the newest invention, potatoes. <laughs> Needless to say, my roommates were pretty upset with me. Where did you get those? The fridge. Oh no. <laughs> that is not good. That has anthrax on it. You are going to die now. <laughs> with the help of my new technology in potatoes, I was able to pull from my results and create my four postulates based on my work. So the first of my four postulates is that this suspected causative agent must exist in every case of disease and absent in healthy individuals. Check, check. They've got it. Mm, sorry I didn't see you there. My second postulate is that the agent must be isolatable and grown outside of a human host. There it is. My third postulate <coughs> is that the agent has to be taken from an unhealthy, contaminated host and introduced <coughs> into a healthy host, and they will receive the contamination. What? Dude! Sorry, it is all in the name of science. Ugh. Fourth and final postulate is to take the organism from a, an infected host and be able to isolate it. And here we have it, the fourth postulate. With my newfound bed and the results in my experiments, I didn't need little sticks anymore. <laughs> I was able to use higher quality materials to do my studies and I identified tubercle bacillus as the cause of tuberculosis and for that I won the Nobel Prize. Do you have a Nobel Prize? No, I do. You are stupid.